Well, hello, hello, and welcome to episode five, five or six, five or six, <laughs> six, because I'm looking at the save. Um, sorry, short-term memory moment. Shall I start over again? <clears throat> hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited, episode six. We've been playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The classic game that may possibly, in the very near future, be made into a trilogy. So, if you are not familiar with the story, this is a good time to jump right in. Kind of to recap, short version, over the last five episodes, we have woken up from a coma with no memory. We've been attacked, crash landed on a planet, got through all the tutorial adventures, escaped with our lives... Saved a Jedi along the way and have now been brought to Dantooine to learn how to be a Jedi. We banked in some of our saved up levels so there's no more uh, experience hoarding going on. And uh, we are going to spend today at the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine and try to work through as much of our Jedi training as we can while we're there. Um, I will say that there have been moments working with the uh, Jedi Council, Council here, or the Mini Council here, that um, I think I know why they're stuck in the middle of nowhere, out on a backwater planet. But uh, we might get into that a little bit later. I apologize again for my voice. I, I've had this persistent sinus thing going on, and I can't seem to get rid of it. So hopefully my voice will last through the evening stream. So, with all that out of the way, let's load up. I will forewarn you, the first part of the episode is going to be a whole lot of talking. We got a lot of people to talk to, so we're going to be talking, 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 and then we will get to some action. So, buckle in for the dialogue machine. Although, first things first, nope, not that one. There we go. She needs to level up. So let's go ahead and level up mission and uh, go from there. All right. So last time I bumped up her constitution to 12 because I want to get her a little more hit points. So we'll bump that up to 14. This means that now she is going to get one extra hit point retroactively for each level that she had and each time she gains a level she will get two extra hit points more than she would have already gotten so let's do that let's go to her skills we're trying to mostly keep up demolitions stealth and security and we've been dropping points in other places because we got things like Treat injury that could always get a bump. Computer use that could always get a bump. But since they are cross-class skills, they eat up two skill points apiece. So we got all that squared away. And she needs a feat. We've been trying to bring her down the dueling path. And it looks like we can get her up to that master level dueling, which is pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, from there, we may start trying to specialize in either the power shot or sniper shot. Uh, probably the power shot or the rapid shot. Um, we'll take a look at that when we get there because first and foremost, we want to get her the master dueling. That is going to bump her two hit by one more. And it's also going to bump her defense by one more. So that is a no-brainer, and we'll accept that. And he's already level 8, she's already level 8, I'm already level 8. I will have to rotate through all my other people and get yes. them leveled up too. So with all that said and done, let's let the speaking and quest receiving begin. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Right. I've got 
set the yellow crystal to account for my sentinel. And nope. No power crystal. Nope, no power crystal. Alright, let's assemble. Bam! Look who's got a shiny new sword. Just out of curiosity, though. That is 2 to 16, 19 to 20. And I was using this, which is 1 to 10, 19 to 20, but I got a bonus plus 4 to damage. So damage ended up 6 to... 6 to 15 with a plus 13 to hit, plus 13 to hit, 3 to 17. 6 to 15, 3 to 17. I got a lower floor, but looks like I still end up with a higher ceiling. Yeah. Okay. That works. I might end up selling those Viber Swords. I think once I finish uh, getting my entire crude complement and seeing who's going to be melee and who's going to be ranged, I will then start clearing out some of this extra stuff that I've accumulated and then uh, go from there. Uh, running with a sword does not... <laughs> running with a lightsaber does not you seem You have done extremely nice. well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain hmm. Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold Which these crystals. Which means we're probably going on a quest for some. Alright, so, let's start at the beginning. Can it I find crystals? Only. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attention of attention. dangerous <laughs> enemies. The <laughs> Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face uh -oh. the final challenge, Apprentice? I am ready. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The right, Cath Hounds are but a us. symptom of the true problem. Mm -hmm. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Uh, hmm. No, we'll go with I that I can one. say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side so still taints the ancient go growth. Against a dark Jedi. Your lessons cannot it. continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be, the with, force you. be with you. Okay. And the I dark know we had a couple other... still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue I'm, until the spreading oh. corruption of the dark side has been stopped. I was hoping this we could do the other task, conversation apprentice. trees, but apparently not. May the force be with you. Fine. All right. While we're here, do you yes, have anything to say? All right. Never you mind. got it. Do you have hey anything there. to say? What to can me? I do for you? Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Circa Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. 
Yeah, we'll find I you. I just way. hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. I deeply suspect he will be. I also think we're probably not going to be doing any more talking with her until we're off the planet and on to Tantooine. Alright, let's see what best lasts. If you have to questions, say. you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Okay then. And you good Greetings, sir. young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. Alright, um... I'm eager to learn. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our Order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I it will begin 40 years ago with the space. War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. Huh. So again, just in case you weren't aware, this game takes place way back in the history. So long before the fall of the Republic to the Empire as chronicled in the movies. We're talking a thousand-ish years, maybe a little bit more than that. So this is deep history. And this is some of the history 40 years before that where Exar Kun's defeated, trying to rebuild and... Revan and Malak are the two big Sith causing all the problems in the story so far. So what does Exar Kun have to all do things in time. with Malak? You shall learn that history is an intricate Revan. weaving of many events. No one thing can be understood without the proper context. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only I planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation. Where's the... that sounds like giving them Poland option. Uh, hmm. Well, yeah. you can hardly blame the Republic. The memory of war was fresh in everyone's mind. Nobody was eager to relive the horrors in a campaign against the Mandalorians. But in the end, it was unavoidable. The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian begun, Wars the Mandalorian have, Wars have. Uh, hmm. I don't want to keep harping on that, so let's try. Did the Death the Republic Jedi join petitioned him? the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council hmm. preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many go. of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. Ooh. Uh... Okay. Sounding good so far. So how did Revan fall? Revan and Malak were side? heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. 
Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. I think we're going to be following a path. Perhaps they simply went far beyond the edges of Republic space. Maybe they found previously undiscovered hyperspace routes to the ends of the galaxy. Nobody knows for certain. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Hmm. How did he get the ships, or how did he get the followers? How did he get the ships? Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things hmm. about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were uh, former Republic soldiers who had served under okay. Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. So, what For two next? years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan, as you probably know. She was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his hmm. fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Alright, um... Arca, you know, what can we learn from history? Revan's tale shows I mean, us how even the greatest of history. Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. I May the force I... be with you. Oh, okay. I won't fuss too much about the archives. Good evening, apprentice. I trust your training goes well. It goes well, Discount Yoda. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, Apprentice. Hey. Good evening, Apprentice. I trust your training goes well. I'd like to ask you some questions. A Jedi though. must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Mm. Now, let's start at the Bastila top. Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan really was slain. I really wish the game Did could have found that? something better than battle meditation. Bastila herself me. does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? All right. What can you tell? What can you tell I me? I knew Revan, Revan was a promising Malak. young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, 
but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join first the cause. To go. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. Okay, so... Is Revan stronger? Nah, let's go with uh, Revan. Revan was always the leader. The more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malak quickly assumed Revan's role, and has embraced the dark side power as fully as his old master ever did. Now, Malak leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance for his master's death draw Malak ever further down the path of the dark side, fueling his powers until they surpass those of his old master. Only you and Bastila, together, can stop Malak now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? Yeah, let's go with the last question. Master Vruk may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Is there anything else you would like to know? That seems to be all you're going to tell me, so Very well. I'll be going now. May the Force be with you. And now for Master Vick. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy Dude. studying your lessons. I suppose <laughs> such desires are inevitable, though I fear you may seek knowledge for which you are not prepared. Yet I will do my best to guide your quest. All right. Bastilla, Let's start at the top. The young Jedi holds great promise and great danger. She can do much for both the Republic and the Council. Without her skill in battle meditation, the Sith Armada would have conquered the galaxy long ago. But despite her command of the Force, Bastilla is still young. She is a Jedi, but she has not attained the rank of Master. The Council would do well to remember this before we lay the fate of the galaxy on her slender shoulders. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. Well, I, know I who see the cranky you Jedi insist is. on wandering the halls of our enclave. Well, I, I suppose questions. such does. Uh, what can Revan you tell me was once a Revan promising Padawan, but ever eager to learn more about the Force. Revan sought knowledge of ancient Sith magics, foolishly ignoring the dangerous okay. lure of the dark side. When the Mandalorian invasion came, Revan seized the opportunity it presented. Many Jedi flocked to the Outer Rim to follow the charismatic young knight, and many fell under the sway of the dark side. That is a good question. What did happen in the Outer Rim? I do not them? believe Revan and Malak were corrupted on the Outer Rim. They had begun their journey down the Dark Path long before the Mandalorian threat appeared. Oh. Here on Dantooine, they discovered a sinister cave, a place where the strength of the dark side overwhelms the light. Perhaps this discovery was what first corrupted them. Or perhaps they sought the cave out because they were already corrupted. Whatever the explanation, an awful lot like the, the Order was unable to turn them back the to the episode. light. Had the Council taken more decisive action in this matter, perhaps Revan and Malak could have been stopped. But in this we failed. You would do well to focus more closely on your lessons. The Force is strong with stop you, but you need training and guidance in the ways of the Jedi, lest you suffer a fate similar to that of Revan. 
Alright, looks like to get the third conversation tree, I'm gonna have to... I don't like to ask questions, yada yada. There we go. Why are you always criticizing me? No, that seems a little too confrontational for what we've been playing so far, so... You if you find me overly critical, perhaps it is because you do not fully understand what is at stake. For 15,000 years, the Republic has brought peace and stability to the galaxy. Now the Republic may be destroyed because we, the Jedi, have failed them. Revan and Malak were paragons of the ideals the Order seeks to uphold. Yet they succumb to the temptations of the dark side. When Revan fell, Malak took up the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith. Should Malak be stopped, what is to stop another Jedi from taking his place? This is the burden we masters must okay. carry. Only through strict now training and relentless is. lessons can You're we prevent the Dark Master from being reborn. That is why the Order can brook no failure in our apprentices and pupils. That is why I can accept nothing but perfection from you. You would do well to focus more closely. Yeah, and now you're going to tell me to shut up and move along. Alright, that's everybody in here. I have talked to him. Does the computer have anything new to offer me? Uh, Nope. That just gives me a list of the different classes. Alright, let's see. What other trouble can we get ourselves into? Let's see. And what do you have to Greetings, say? Greetings, Apprentice. Though I understand you shall not have that lowly title yeah. much longer. Master Jar tells title? me that your progress has been remarkable. A, Soon he feels you will attain the rank of Padawan. Side. Then you will truly be a full-fledged Jedi. How are you enjoying your training? Uh, hmm. It is With difficult power but worthwhile. With power comes responsibility. And only by learning discipline and sacrifice can we truly learn to master our potential. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Dude, Greetings, you're Apprentice. Cutting me soon off. He Alright, I'm looking to alter and there I heard about some caves. There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. They're Be warned, dangerous. Apprentice. They're dangerous. You should what, not meddle in things dangerous. beyond you. I wish you luck in your training, Apprentice. There is much you must yet learn. May the Force be with you. Okay. And do you have the anything you to say? The have been very active of late. The okay. settlers feel they are becoming more dangerous. Alright, and you are our resident card shark. There's nothing there, and you, you're the cranky old man who wants to speak to a Jedi. You gonna give me something new this time? Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the Council, not some servant. Please <laughs> leave, or I shall be forced to tell the Council of your rude behavior. Never mind then. I guess I won't help you. All right, before we jet out into the wilderness, I do also want to, let's see, yep, that's the door out. I want to jump back into the ship and level up the other minions. If you are seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Council will help. All right. I'm afraid I cannot. You cannot. And I think I've already done my thing with you. Word seems to get around quick. Um, yeah, let's jump into this. Caves here in Dantooine that hold the rare crystals we use in our lightsabers, but if you wish to go there, the caves are a place of great danger. Great. So that's the advice everybody gives me. Watch out. The caves be dangerous. Alright, uh let's try you again. Real quick. A moment of a time for a question. 
ne bo bodje mata ne punage. Dulpi kiki ana. Oh, this is that Rindle conversation that we had last week. Sasha. Huh. Uh, do you believe she's still alive? Because it's not that I don't know, and it's not that I'm about the money, so... Okay. He's not going to give me anything. If you are speaking for me, perhaps the Jedi Council will help. Please don't disturb me. I have pressing matters at hand. Pressing matters. Okay. And Achuta. you had. Wonga <laughs> kun be stulpi. You must be the new recruit. Dong Azugas Makdelia. Runda di hotonga kun hunka be. Ka chiku. Allow me to introduce myself to General Stor. You do know that we talked when I got here, right? Shanununya. Muchashak Bakha. Ka chiku. None of that's near. I just want to see you what you have for sale. All right. I've got 14 regular med packs, but I should probably get a couple of advanced ones. All right. I'm going to hang on to the armor and the swords for the moment. Ditto for the blasters. Let me go ahead and get rid of a couple of these, because I'm really not going to keep all of them. Uh, da, da, da. Hmm. Alright, I'll hang on to... Yeah. I'll hang on to the rest of that. I don't need more med packs. I don't need more antidote kits. Nor clothing. I think I've got the armor all I need for now. That's right. And all the weapons that were worth taking. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. Pretty much everything worth taking is really honking expensive. Alright. Of course. Alright. Let's head on to the Hawk. And let's wander around. Take a look at our ship, because we haven't had a chance to really explore that yet. Alright, there's mission. Hey there. And I think what can I do for you? Yeah. You no can make problem. stuff for me. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you need? No problem. Just so happens I've got anything else you need. Alright. Uh, I don't feel... Alright, so she's the card shark of the ship. We've already talked about her brother as much as she will. So okay. we're good there. have it your way. Items received. Nice. Because I'm pretty sure most of these guys will make or do various things. Alright, so there's my swoop bike. And before I talk to Candorous, let me go to the workbench. Alright, no, that's just my lightsaber. The prototype is as upgraded as it gets. Missions is as upgraded as I can. What about range? Orders are... Oh, okay. What? Yeah. Let's put that hair trigger in there. Cool. 
Karth is as upgraded as he can. Zazavar's as upgraded as he can. And yeah, none of those are upgraded yet. That armor is as upgraded as it gets. The Republic armor, that we can add an extra one to the defense and help out whoever's wearing that. All right, and you, sir. Yeah, what do you want? There we go. You want to hear tales of my sure. exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Uh, hmm. Is that why you work as a mercenary, or is that why the Mandalorians attack the Republic? Let's go with is that Times why you work as a now. mercenary. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. Ha! <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the <clears throat> battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Uh, do you have adrenal stimulants? <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a strength boosting stimulant to help you get stronger. There anything else you need? Do you have more than one? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't want to overload yourself on stims, otherwise you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior oh. knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. Good Is there anything know. else you need? Uh, from what we saw from else? space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm okay. world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Nope. Your choice. That's it for now. I'm here if you want something done right. Oh, well, I'll probably be calling on you in a little bit, Mr. Heavy Weapons. And what's in here? Not much. Let me rephrase that. Not much yet. Dun dun dun. Uh, supplies, emergency food and supplies, some storage stuff. No problem. Didn't work. Impossible. Okay. So, let's go over here in this metal box and let's drop off a few things. Which to give. Gonna hang on to that sort of stuff. And what I really want to do is I want to get rid of the data pad. The. Oh. Okay. I thought I had some other stuff that I could toss in there. Okay. I'm going to try to put some of the unnecessary stuff that I'm hanging on to for just in case moments. But, uh, alright. And down this way, 
we've got barracks, and that's about it. Alright, that's the way I came. This way brings me to these two. Before I do that, there's a little side room over here that has... Nobody. Alright. And he's probably not going to talk, is he? Okay, ooh. back that way. So now, you good sir. I have a funny feeling we're not going to advance his story. here that somebody will surely be an occupant of. We've got a little spot up here. Okay. And then... Oh! There we go. The onboard navigational computer. Computer? Okay. Oh, a destination is still stored from last trip Davik made with it. Where did he go? Alright, that's Dantooine. Oh. Uh, okay. It's probably not going to let me go anywhere else until... Yeah. Probably not until I finish my Jedi stuff will it let me go anywhere else, so... Yes, what's on your Mr. mind? Mr. Karth? Dantooine's you know a boring place. It's all planes and herders. Well, that's okay. all I can think. You got it. So nothing new. Alright, so that is everybody spoken to. Some people even made me stuff. Onward and forward. I think I passed the exit. Yeah, I always get lost in these things. Alright. Um, hmm. Sorry. Uh, I, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take him and her. And go with that team. Team Terrace. Yeah, I also figured that he was probably going to need to upgrade, update to level him up. And let's see. I was working on upping his dexterity so that way he could actually hit better. <laughs> I mean, seriously, with that strength, I really should give him a melee. Melee weapon. All right, let's... Increase his repair and his treat injury. We'll bump that up to 10. 
I really do want to bump up his demolitions or something, but uh, I don't see myself using him for that sort of thing too much. Sweet. He can now do a level 3 implant. Alright. Close. Alright, I've talked to everybody around the Enclave, so... Time to make my way out the door. I want to say there's still more people to talk to outside the door. If I am remembering this right. Assuming he lets me out the door, that is. Okay, oh, there you are. And are you going to tell me... The council me... has decreed you may come and go as you please. Oh, how nice of the council. <laughs> Alright, yep. Yep, I see talking, talking, and more talking. All right. And what do you have to say? Rahasia Sandral is a nice young woman, but her father has been keeping her at their estate since her brother went missing. Uh -oh. I don't understand why the Jedi Council are hiding here. Shouldn't they be helping the Republic? Uh, are they hiding? I didn't really get that sense. Alright, uh, what about you, Mr. Jedi? Enjoy the time you have here on Dantooine. I think the Council might decide uh, to move to a different world soon. Okay. Your name? You it could be important. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, tell me about, about yourself. me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. Indeed, my young yeah, friend, right, that well, I am. The answer to that question. I have served the, the Council the for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. I think council? perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something that else really I can help you with? Related to the question, but okay. All right, Very uh, well. What, can what is it you wish to know? Ah, yes. There we go. Those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders and infest the places. Me. There we go. They are That's attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? I've been given Indeed. the task. What is it you would like from me? What do you know? The council the has told you nothing of the grove. Dun, 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 dun. Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. <laughs> but as the light okay. side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. I want to the grove love, can be found to the and south and grove. east in the plains. But be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something hmm. else I can help you with? Right. Well, I hope like your everything. time is well with. spent here on Dantooine. Alright, you're the wandering Jedi. Everybody behind there I've talked to. And what about you, Mr. Gar? Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council <laughs> agreed to hear our petition? Um... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. Does the council require our presence? I'm sorry, oh, I don't know. I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? My name is Gar. Mm -hmm. Me and Are my you? fine wife Rilke here. A pleasure. Live on one of the northern farms, but the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help.
the Mandarins Ever since are the here. Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi okay. are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders. So, don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind That's of fair. hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? You Recently, mentioned cat the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John Ooh. got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? All right. Uh, what can you tell me well, about that? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. no, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali hmm. and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. <laughs> well, from what I hear, uh -oh. it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he okay. didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you support? Alright, uh, that would be everything. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yeah. May the Force be with you. What about you? Do you have anything different to say? Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Well, okay, then. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Dude. Uh, what are you? Those Mandalorian brutes have about? killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. Uh, but Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Who Jedi, the stop allies? these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Hmm. I will all right. give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Whoa, 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 whoa. We, we went straight to the annihilation phase of this endeavor? Those damn Mandalorians have been raiding farms all over this continent. The Jedi won't do anything, so where does that leave us? I heard that the Sith have destroyed Taurus. This bodes ill for us. Alright. What about you, sir? No, I knew a guy like you. What happened? <laughs> Wanna confess Ching Pa Ma Ruli Ra, Tok Ching Bang Non Kek, Tok Ning Cha Mui Ra Ra Bess, Uba Batu Kochi, Tong Nong Bong Chang Nung Yang, Tong Katok Smak Delia. Well, I could beach down for, or shake you down for a reward, but. La Boda Ni Winky Smak Toma, Wanna confess Ching Pa Ma Ruli Ra, Tok Ching Bang Non Kek, Lawful Ning Cha Mui Ra Ra Bess. Or is it neutral good? I'll have to go back and double check. No, I want to say it was lawful neutral. If you are seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Council will help. 
I'm afraid I cannot. Okay then. You know those stones to the east of here? I heard they did some digging and found they aren't natural. Ooh. Oh, Rahasia Sandral is a nice young woman, but her father has been keeping her at their estate since her brother went missing. Hmm. Alright. Real quick though. <laughs> okay, all this is path to the south. Good to know. I was hoping to get a little bit more of the map filled out, but uh let's just make our way on out then. Those must be the cat hounds. And we got a couple of different people. Alright, what do you have to say? Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see. We were okay. working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Uh, there are Mandalorians in the area. Could have been cat hounds. Neither one seems helpful, not so... That I know of. None of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Oh. Or maybe Cath Hounds. None of your neighbors know that your companion is there? Cath enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open hmm. the door by himself. Come to think of it. The door was locked. Couldn't have been. Well, yes it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming... Oh. Um. Well, yes. He is a droid, but he is very valuable. Are they suggesting what I think they're saying. suggesting? He's the last piece of my hmm. poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's no, no, the no. only companion I have on all of Dantooine. My precious. Um. This is supposed to be a kid's game. Uh, let's he go with this one. personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing hmm. droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, okay. that I makes need a little him sense. back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Although, please, I beg of you, related. return my droid to me. I will help you. Thank you. Thank you, Master I'll Jedi. everybody else. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Alright, and what about you, Mr. Lerp? Oh. Okay. Oh, he's not having the arm enough. A simple merchant with a noble purpose. To make money. Great. Is that it? I think I got it. Uh, yeah. We'll be nice. The settlers of Nova Humans have been plagued by Cath Hounds, Raiders, and other fearsome troubles of late. But I will happily sell them firearms for top dollar. Is that what I got? Okay. Hey, you're trying to sell me something, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Lowest prices, huh? Sure. Okay. Getcha. <laughs> Show me what you got. Ooh. 
Do you have any maps? Oh. Okay. Not everything. Realistically, I'm not entirely sure that I need. Oh, okay. Let's see what else you got. Uh, what you selling? Ooh. Oh, crikey. Damage resistant 15. Oh, Verse Sonic. Uh -huh. Still, that's not bad armor for the mere 3K. Okay. That would be extra nice for Mr. Heavy Weapons. That would give him a really nice defense bonus of 10. The max dex kind of stings a little bit, but still, that's a defense bonus of 10 and a bunch of damage resistances. All and upgradable. Okay, always nice. All right, that's uh, okay for medium armor, I guess. I still got to get a sheet of paper or something over here so that way I can jot down who's got what. So I get a little quick reference or prop up another monitor and put a, put um, one note up on it. Stun baton, blaster pistol, light repeating blaster, eh, some grenades and mines. Yeah, okay. Nice to know where to get weapons. Okay. I was going to say, is that my reminder or... Nope, this is the battle. Alright. Um, yeah, let's try to drop you with a power attack. Let's just queue up those power attacks. And let's do the power blast. And... Yeah, let's get everybody queued up on the power stuff. Should get everybody right. Yep, good. Bam. Now we can go this way, which brings us to the gate that goes to the Metalli grounds. That's one of the two feuding families. Good to know. Trying to get our map up as we go. Let me go this long way around this way and uh, do my fights that way. Oh, okay. Focus on me. That's what we do with the saber. That's what we do with the squishy people in the back with the blast with the So pretty much for the next little while, I'm definitely going to spend my time fighting and exploring and lighting up the map. There's not too much to learn about the world at this particular juncture. But, yep, okay, okay. Alright, that should get everybody back up to full health. Beautiful. Alright. 
Let's round out this map. Because it looks like, yeah. Looks like this is going to narrow down into the next path. We only got two of the... Alright, yeah. Let's let loose one of those. Yeah. That should... Soft and pretty good. He's got to be to have a low well enough AC for the power type, so at least increase my damage up enough to make it worthwhile. Although, I probably shouldn't keep chasing this dude. Oh. significance on the damage front. I gotta be careful with that. I need to let the force powers regenerate some. I thought it would do that automatically. Or maybe it's uh, so many per round and we just haven't given enough. Yeah, because it just went up a little bit. Doesn't look like we get enough time. Not <laughs> that that's helping. Oh, that was easy. Alright. Alright, and this is the gate to go to more of the Metalli Grounds. Brick Googly Moogly, how big is this new place? Alright, good. Force powers are regenerating. This is taking us somewhere else. Dun dun dun. Do some strange ruins. Hmm. That looks familiar. The heavy stone door is sealed. The door is too thick to be cut through with a lightsaber. Interesting to know that I can tell that from out here. Alright. That looks like it's going to be important later. So, before I forget and lose everything, let me go ahead and save this game. Save, are you sure? Yep. And this is episode 6. All right. Down the path we go. The Metalle Grounds. One of the two feuding houses. Oh. Okay. So we got a couple of those guys over there. We got a bunch more over there. And it looks like these guys are either... Frolicking and... Not gonna do anything, or... Yeah. Let us wander this way. Let's see if we can attack this again. Now it gives me a slight dip in defense. And I keep forgetting about that. If I'd remembered, I probably wouldn't have taken it and put the uh, feet in somewhere else. Alright, I will eventually go clear those guys out, but let's see what else we have. This goes to... Alright, that's probably the Tainted Grove. Alright, and let's go. Go take out another herd. There we go. 
Let's get that in the queue. The V is not looking so good. That's looking a little better. Hmm. Dude, not looking so hot. Let's get you to med pack yourself. Maybe one more? No. Definitely it. Um, Alright. What? Hmm. Alright, that was our tainted groove. I don't know if I want to go ahead and do that now or continue filling out the map and fighting. Uh, let's see something real quick. Alright, so we are five, six, seven, eight thousand away from leveling again. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's head out to the groove. See what we can see. Oof. <laughs> that was quick. Alright. That's probably a of a good grenade. That's probably up soon. Up to full health. Okay. Seriously. Alright, alright. I don't have much of a force points. Probably shouldn't have burned through it, but it's okay. These guys drop some sort of loot, but uh, guess not. All right, that looks like where the quest is headed. I am gonna wander around a bit and regen some force points. I have a funny feeling that I am going to fight soon over there. It looks like there's a fight going on over that way, too. Alright. This now. And wander a bit. Okay, now, usually when I'm doing this sorts of things, or I'm running around fighting battles and doing all that, I usually have a podcast or two that I'm listening to. And, um... I've got a fairly, fairly large list of podcasts that I got going right now. Um, battle armor. Oh, that's heavy armor with a plus eight. Okay. No, that's right, because I haven't been doing the two up and fighting. Uh, da, da, da. Nothing that can go there. We got the energy shield, energy shield. Is that the best armor? No, you got the Republic, so that's... Yeah, that's the best you can get there. 
You're also doing the one-handed. All right. Energy shield, energy shield, can't wear armor. Got the implant. Yep, okay. So these guys are doing about as good as sure. we could hope. Anyway, usually I've got a couple of different podcasts going. Um, <laughs> a lot of different podcasts going. My podcast queue has grown and shrunk and changed a lot. Um, I really don't even know where to begin with some of it. Hmm. That looks like another big fight. Alright, force points are... Close to being back. Dude. You wanna get out of my way? There we go. Remains. What's in the remain? A Mandalorian melee shield? Alright. I guess I can't pick anything up there. Hello. I will be your doom. Hmm. All right. You and me, chica. Uh, let's see if I can hit you with that, and then we'll start this. Works great when they have a low AC because the minus to hit doesn't hurt as much. You, you are strong, stronger than me, even in my darkness. Yeah. Why did you? I am you? Johanny, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This um. is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Mm. You were a better good, Jedi then. than you will ever be. More powerful as well, for I could best my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush oh. the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Uh, you slew your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? Talk. Right. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Uh, yeah. Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back. Or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Yeah, I'm not trying any persuades, especially on something as dangerous as this. <laughs> they have not been... Alright, uh... Yeah, let's start Why? there. Because I am right. That's why. I can see the truth in your eyes as well. Do not look at me again. Oh. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? Why are you I have doing fallen, this? And dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council. So here, I shall stay. Oh. 
Let's talk. No, let's talk. You who have let's beaten me so easily just want to. All right. Uh, Not peace. I am pathetic. I sit here and I always uh, thought they Okay. Now we're going through all the Jedi code stuff. Both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's the next if part of the code. Alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the council ever take me back with what I've done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Cute. If I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. Maybe, it's a little fuzzy in a couple of places. They would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? It could be possible. There we I go. Thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, oh, hey. Another mesh underlay. I'll hang on to that. Just in case I get anything else that is upgradable. And let's take a look at the map. We got a lot of map here, so... Let us go ahead and save our progress. Yep. And let's go exploring. There seem to be some Mandalorians that need some dealing with. Is he coming at me? No. Okay. Um, let's change a few people out, though. Let's add you, because you got the big gun. Let's remove you, and because you got the hit points. And a decent gun hand, because I get a funny feeling. I'm going to need... Ooh, I forgot. I'm going to need to level him up, too. Level up. Ooh. Ooh. Do I want to go with strength or dexterity? If I add one more to strength, that adds to his melee hit and damage. But I don't really have him outfitted for melee, and I don't think his feats are set for melee. I could bump up his con for hit points, but he already gets quite a few being a soldier. Uh, intelligence would help him with skill points, but I get the funny feeling his skill is in holding a heavy weapon. So, let's bump up his dexterity so that way when he gets to 12, we can add one more and get that up to a pl from a plus one to a plus two. Yeah, you are not my most skillful person. <laughs> hey, let's focus on treat injury. Because I want you to be able to use med packs very nicely. Alright, so you got the full armor deal. Double bladed weapon or two weapons, one in each hand. You're not really doing either. Alright, you've gone all the way up the heavy weapon specialist. You've got toughness, which I really wish I could retrain, but, you know, whatever. That's only for a single one-handed weapon, which you do not use. You got the power blast and the flurry and the power attack. We could up the implant level. Or we could get the master power blast. Master power blast adds plus 10 to damage. And a minus 3 penalty to hit. Alright, or master rapid shot. 
So offers a minus one to defense and for three seconds afterwards. They also suffer a minus one penalty to attacks all rounds. That goes from the minus two. Yeah, so you start off with a minus four, you go to a minus two. Looks like the lowest you can get it is a minus one. Rapid shot seems to be getting more important here lately anyway, so let's go ahead and Add Master Rapid Shot. I think the next time we get a feat at level... Well, I would have thought that this was for level 9. 10, 11, 12. Um, we'll do the Power Blast. Yeah. Wait. I didn't think there was a feat at 8. Or is that because he's a soldier? I think that's because he's a soldier. Yeah, that's right. Soldiers got a lot of extra feats. All right, so he's a bit dark. <laughs> he's not. I am not. At least not for a while longer. All right, so now that I got a couple of big guns, before I forget, let me go over here, and you've got seven with a max dex of two. I already know your max deck dex stinks, so uh, that's going to go from 18 to 16, 18 to 17, 18 to 19. Yeah. Let's go ahead and at least bump you up to a 19. You got a 21, but that's because you got Davix. War suit. And I got a 26, which is good because I'm up front and hitting things. Alright, is there anything else I can give you? The neural band increases your will. That increases your awareness. Neither one really help them that much. That's about as good as it gets there. Yeah. Okay. You're as well equipped as I could hope. Hmm. Except. Alright, so you've got your blaster. Plus 10 to hit, 5 to 14 for damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. None of that's as good as what you got there. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I bothered. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, keep that where it's at. Clues. Alright. Bam. Could be far enough away. Well, we're probably going to drag in some of the... Oh, you this close. You know what, while we're here, let's go ahead and clear out this bunch, because the last thing I want to do is end up ambushed while we deal with those, whatever that group is over there. Yeah, I think, uh, next time I'm definitely going to put it in the... Because that's been doing me far better here lately. Alright. Let's do a regular med pack since I appear to be the only one injured further. Alright. Lay in the power attack. Yeah. There we go. Right, that goes somewhere else. Seriously, you tell me I really can't walk over that.
All right, that looks like trouble up ahead, so let's go ahead and save the current game. Yep. All right, let's see what trouble we can get into here. You guys gonna talk first or? Nope. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and get that shield going. And I will power attack you. Because this looks like going to be smart to really lay this one out. I didn't want him to talk to me. I wanted him to lay the smack down on this dude. Let's go! <laughs> That'll show you. Whirlwind you. Lava plasma grenade. And power. No. Then crank up the power attacks. whirlwind you and start power attacking you and let's start doing that and yeah because I want this guy gone quick yeah. All right. All right. loot the bodies a Mandalorian data pad. Hmm. What is on this Mandalorian data pad? Mandalorian data pad. Jarg went missing in Sector B. Then Riza saw someone moving south of there. Take a couple of troops and find out who it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. Oh. I wonder if we're doing these guys out of order. <laughs> yeah, we probably are. Okay. Good enough. You don't have any loot on you. You don't have any loot over here. What about you, good sir? Ooh, a Mandalorian melee shield, a road double blade, and a strength amplifier. Yes, please. And some repair kits, med packs, and an advanced med pack. Always nice. See, this is why I bring you around. Yeah, I think this was done slightly out of order. As to the Sandral grounds. That should fill out that corner of the map. Alright, speaking of the map. So far, we're only here. And I want to say this is part of the Metalli ground, so let's go ahead and finish filling out this sector of the map, and then we'll move further south. Hmm. And before I forget... Mr. Garth! Time for you to join the Level 9 Club. You got the one skill, so we'll do the one thing. Okay. And you went up with the double bladed or two weapons because you do the two pistols. You got the heavy armor. You got the power blast. 
I almost... Hmm. That's right, the sniper triples the threat. And, okay. I gotta remember that he's got the sniper stuff too. Uh, this feat quadruples the critical threat range. Ooh. Okay. And if the attack hits, he's also stunned. This feat lowers defense by five when used. All right, uh, this might be time to start getting him down the rapid shot line. No, let's finish off his power power blast. All right, power blast it is. Bam, done. Nice. All right, back to you traveling. Over the hills and through the woods. To Metalia's house we go. Uh-oh. Actually, before we start this one, let's go ahead and save. Who knows what's going to happen here. Alright. What do you have to say, Mr. Blowlock? And who are you? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Jedi, not many rooms, but who am I to talk? Sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place a few hours ago. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be an excellent side plot for you to make conversation decisions. Is that what I heard? I think that's what I heard. Alright. Though you are not yet full Jedi, perhaps you get a suspense in sorting out the truth from lies. Alright. What would you like me to do? Listen some of the stories given by the suspects, I have brought an information retrieval droid. Okay. Access to the archives. At the Enclave and the Planetary Capital. <laughs> I will offer some guidance in the most cryptic way the game allows me to. Oh wait, sorry. Um, I will offer some guidance as best I can. Now I'll not solve everything for you. Consider each account. Check the facts with the information droid. So, a lot of talking. Hopefully some XP out of this. Is that what I'm hearing? Because I think that's what I'm hearing. If you're unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I'll take you to the young player and deal with this myself. Gotcha. Right. Hush. According to the Council of Participants, these three men were out here in the field together before the crowds broke. Hmm. <laughs> Storm clouds earlier today. Hmm. The dead man was shot in the back. Rifle near his body with blood stains on it. And that was sent back to the enclave. Two other men were found at the scene. One was Hannah McGill. Gold, who was unarmed, and the other was Rickard, who was carrying a hunting laser. Everybody says they didn't do it. Nobody said they wanted their lawyer. Oh, wait, um, no, both are talking to the cops. Not smart. Is there anything else I should know? Okay. Andon was holding his side and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. If there's anything else you want to do, I will question the witnesses. Okay. Right, let me go ahead and put this up since I'm going to be running around from person to person anyway. Let's start with you, Handon. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you've heard of me? Nope. 
Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was you out do. here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Mm -hmm. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Mm -hmm. and I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. <laughs> okay. So he was running. Dude. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting what here he has when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? Alright, and you, Mr. Droid. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an yeah, information retrieval droid. Okay, I can I assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold and Netic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? All the information. All right. What did we find Brilliant out about the body? My analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis of... Oh. Is there any other information... All right. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be prevented to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the planes. So Small farms and holdings stop the planes and can provide safe okay. refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Alright, the planes, the body, it looks like that's all the information you're gonna give me. I will be here to assist you. Alright. Uh -huh. Uh, Gold, the runner, on our Usopp, the hunter who had a hunting laser. Okay. Um, holding his side and panting, the runner, Rickard, who was favoring one of his legs. Okay. Alright, um... And so I heard a shot ran over, only to find Calder dead, and Rickard came out of the shadow of the rocks holding the blaster. Rickard said that he was hunting, saw one through the glare of the sun and shot at it. It's possible Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally and Handed may have found the body, but that seems unlikely. At least one of them is likely to be lying. Okay. Where does the truth lie? I do not know. Alright. So you're going to tell me to talk to them both again. Alright. So, what do you want? Mr. Rickard. 
You're well, limping, are you hurt? I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Okay. Sprained your ankle running through the bush. So, what do you want to know? I think I've already gotten what he saw. Why I told you already, here? didn't I? Was hunting That's some areas. areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. So, uh, Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I shot and pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body and the Eriaz was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? So, right. what do you want to know? Limping, what did well, you I was out hunting Eriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handens. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I, I, didn't realize I want that back. A new version of the story. Okay. Right. That's all for now. Right. How can I be of further assistance? And what did you see happen? Actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision on. and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. I wanted to play Jedi, not Clue. Here, How can I, I want to ask you something else. Well, I was taking my daily doing? constitutional. Uh -huh. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran and over and found uh, Calder's body lying there. Ran over. Do you often yes, run? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. I can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always <laughs> say. <laughs> Are you injured? Injured? No, of course not. But why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can mm -hmm. I be of further assistance? Is there a more obvious dodge? It, injured? No, of course not. But why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> mm -hmm. I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be of further assistance? Right. Uh, that's everything course, right there. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Right. And Mr. Jord, what do you Is have to say? Is there any other information you need? My preliminary uh, analysis. Is there any other information? These planes are rife with what? There have been small farms and holdings. Is there any other information? Very well. Alright. All right, Master. There's something I can do. Mm -hmm. All right. They're both lying. Fat people always lie. <laughs> Uh, hi, hi. Hey, he didn't mention the weapon found by the body. He denied either. Hi, Not directly false. Because it looks like I'm going to have to keep making accusations to find out more information. I know there's a little bit more here. It's very clear that they're giving you enough clues to let you know that there is more here. Alright, I will continue. Round next. What do you want to know? Right. Is there any other information? These planes are right. 
They have solved. Is there any other? Very well. I will be here to assist you. All right. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Nothing wrong. Uh, ここ Wonga Kumbis Chang ba Bulala so, what do you want to know? Did you yeah, know the victim? Him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Mm -hmm. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Uh-huh. Right. Do you want to go talk to his wife? Is that motive? How can I be afraid right, of Andy. assistance? All right, you're holding your side. Why are you out here? Did you I know him a little guy? bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. Hmm. I never really associated with him that much. The truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation, very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one said he killed him. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I be of further assistance? Right. So, why um, would Rickard want to see him? Well, you see... Paul was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business mm -hmm. practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. Dealings with a hut a here hut. on Dantini. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any I didn't even know there was a man, but I hut tell here you, on Dantini. I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, me. yes, and I've heard some pretty everywhere. unkind things about him, but like certainly Starbucks nothing would make me want to kill him. Alright, no I'm one sorry. said he killed him. I'm getting a bit agitated. Yet. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Right. How can I be of further assistance? So I got the why, I got how you know what you're doing out of here. Of course, so. of course. Listen, if you need it. Alright. Is there the any information you need? What can you the tell me about Calder and Hendon? The business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? Wait a second. I thought Gould ran everywhere and didn't like speeders. Okay. According to the municipal authorities near the Darren spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored huh. order. Is there any other information you need? Okay. Anything new about the body? Nope. Is there any other information? Right. I will be here to assist you. So, what do you want to know? You thought he was now, cheating I don't you. love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang mm -hmm. Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. Huh. 
Okay. So now I come to you and I tell you. Right. They're a business partner. We got along quite well. Nobody's got a motive. And now we accuse Rickard of lying. So we already accused Hamden of lying. Uh, da, 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 da. They had a fight over business matters. Right. Now to focus on the murder weapon. See what information the witnesses and the information Dord can provide you about the blaster found near the body. Alright, All right. So, Mr. Hunter. Alright, so we already got the rest of that. What about the weapon well, that found blaster? by the body? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. Hmm. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always okay. wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's oh. make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Okay. Right. And now he's throwing shade. How can I be of further assistance? Alright. Uh, like, I, I realize yep. this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did the punching My his face in come in? On oh. So in bed while I was in the next room. Oh, no. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just okay. out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Uh -huh. Running is not a crime. All right. How can I be afraid? I really assistance? intended to talk to you about something else. All right. Uh, what do you know about the that weapon? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough oh. money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cat hounds around. around, around Even a weapon? an Erias can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Huh. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Mm, I'll I try that off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. I'm not... I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, hmm. Normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had oh. my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife, right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much oh. as I may hate him for that, okay. I did not kill him. It may have been my own fault. Interesting for choice to uh, have him around. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is All not right. a crime. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. I think I've gotten everything I can from them until is this guy gives me information new information. Need? All right, so we asked about the planes, the body, the relationships. They did not get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any no. other information you need? All right, so it didn't belong to the deceased. Is there I'm a report? Sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, mm -hmm. but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any mm -hmm. other information? Missing weapon you need? Report. 
Uh, that's it for the moment. Very well. I will be here to assist you. I don't think he's got me. So, what do you want to know? Well, nope. right. nothing new. Let's make sure something new hasn't opened up. How can I be of further assistance? No. Nope. No more. Okay. And now we come back and start the next quest oh. line, right? Or the next discussion line. What can I do? I want to discuss the murder. What have you determined about the weapon found by the body? Alright. I have learned the blaster didn't belong to the victim. Oh, hush. Too complicated for you to solve. I was trying not to be presumptuous. You've done well. Best if I always wish to continue. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Hannon's. Even though we're going by inference. See, this is what I was talking about. I, I think these guys are in this text for a reason. Alright. Inquire with the droid about the blood sample. Alright. Okay, Mr. Droid. Is there any other information? Tell me about the blood sample. I an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the end player just, just before you arrived. How convenient. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more so specific it's not the analysis from that sample the other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? No, that seems to be it. Very well. I will how can I be a further assistant? Uh, of course. Okay. Nothing more to say. So, what do you want? Nothing new well, to say. Kind of. Right. Alright. Back to you, Mr. Peace of the Time. I want to discuss what's happening. I assume the blood and the weapon the victim. What have you learned? It did not belong to the victim. Probably Hammond's. Yeah. The, the, these are the weakest accusations and the flimsiest chain of logic. I, hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm ashamed of some of this. All I need is one of these guys to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they both did it. <laughs> Both men knew Calder would be out here in the morning, each plotted to kill him, and we found him first and shot him because of the affair. Shortly after Record arrived on the scene, he saw Hannon and thought it was Calder and shot... Yeah. Uh -huh. You've done well. I feel dirty. This is the flimsiest chain of logic I have ever followed. You did good. You might just make a proper Jedi yet. Who knows? Achuta. 
Wonga could be Dolby Kikuyana. Don't be first speed. Oot. That's a sizable chunk of XP. Okay. So we just need about 3,000 more. Oh, he's a little further back. Yeah, okay. Hmm, interesting. Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. I was hoping you had more to say. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, that's going to link back up that way, right? Yep. Okay, actually, since we just finished a big thing with some XP, let's go ahead and save the game. Let me go find somewhere not near the loud water. That's gonna go... Back to the Metallic Grounds. Oh, I seem to have gone all the way around the Metallic Grounds, didn't I? Okay. Alright, at this moment I am going to... Run and feed Jubba the Mutt. <laughs> He's not a mutt. But I'm going to go feed the puppy, so let me put up the intermission graphic. I will be back in just a couple of minutes. That's the cute puppy who's about to get fed. Okay. The puppy has been fed. I repeat, the puppy has been fed. Uh, have I been to the Metallic Grounds yet? I'm beginning to wonder. No, doesn't look like I have. That takes me back. Okay, so that's what I did. I went the long way through to the grove. Over on the eastern boundary, and I skipped a bunch of the Metalli grounds. Let me do this, and then I will finish up uh, the next part south, because I'm willing to bet that one of the parties in that Mandalorian data pad we already captured is one of the ones we should have taken care of here. Yep, those guys. Alright, because that's going to take me to the courtyard. And these guys are about to take a little bit of a trip. Yeah, this should have been the first encounter. No, please take my wife and children instead. Take my wife and children. Wife and children. Now 
sounds like a good idea. All right. Uh, let's get you whirlwind up. Lob a plasma grenade. And start power attacking some fools. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's do this smart. Let's get a shield up. Then force whirlwind you out of the way. And then start power attacking some fools. While you're doing that, we'll get you to start power blasting him. And we'll get you to start... Power blasting him. Yeah. Some computer spikes, repair kit. Nice. I'll take it. I've already looted the equipment pack. And what's over here in these remains? A data pad and a blaster carbine. Okay. So. Uh, Side deck, shield disruptor, mesh, parts, spikes, spike tunneler, spike, repair kit. Where is the... Fortunately, everything purple is new. There we go. Is this the new data pad? This is the new data pad. Jarg, did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes... And I thought it could jam. Ha, consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground within a kilometer. Okay. So... <laughs> okay. Alright, and let's check the map real quick. Alright, so I need to keep heading east. That part's cleared away, everybody's health is still pretty good. Hmm. And what have we here? The Metalli Grounds, I'm going to guess. Let me go ahead and do a quick lap around. Fill in the map. That way I know where all my exits are in case I need them. Not that I'm planning on needing them. Running. There's a back door and everything, too. Alright, that's going to take me to the next section. I'll get to that in just a minute. Although, is that the part of the map I've already been through? That's the part of the map I've already been through. Alright, that's going to take me to the northern parts. Looks like those guys respawn. Good to know if I want to grind out another level or two. Let's, uh, let's see how things go before I start contemplating those options. Those guys aren't worth a whole lot of XP. Although, I might want to look and see where my different minions are at in terms of XP and uh, potentially go from there. Alright. 
So there's the two ways out. Let's go see what the Metalli droid has to say. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Um. Leave Fair. immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted within the estate. These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes. All right. I will leave Mr. Metalli alone. I think that's the guy back at the uh, Enclave anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the guy back at the Enclave, so I'll have to keep that in the back pocket. Maybe come back and have a talk with him. Or maybe that thing's not going to kick off until we start talking to the, um, the other people. Is it still registering an equipment bag? Did I miss one? Oh, okay. I thought I got it all. Alright, let's head back down to the south. Slowly. <laughs> Fast travel would be a wonderful thing right about now. Although, if something else would be kind enough to, uh... Respawn. Alright, so that's where the ancient grove is. That is a path to the south. So I need to head down due south of where I'm at a little bit. And then see what else I can get. Here it is! Okay. Like that! Damn. slow way to get XP. All that for 3 XP. Oh, great googling of you. Alright, that appears to be the rest of the map. Alright, yep. Okay, so. To the Sandroll Grounds. This is the other family that appears to be fighting with the Metallies. And wow, we just open up in the house. Huh. Alright. Same basic deal. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and save this real quick. We haven't saved in a while. That seems like the better part of Valor. Alright, let's do a quick lap around. See what we can see. Looks like this is right up near the back side. I'll talk to you a little bit later unless you force me to talk to you. Oh, come on. You're going to make me walk all the way up into this corner. Yeah, okay. Fine. That looks awfully familiar, too. Alright. So those are the two ways in and out. And even if we head this way, we find we got a little more than a view. I'm sure that view looked a lot more impressive on the low-res screens that we had available at the time. Oh, because don't forget, this came out in 2002, 2003. Somewhere around there. Alright, the back door seems a little too sneaky sneaky for what I'm doing with this guy, so... And what do you have to say? By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? My eh, fine. Please leave immediately. Only those on official... Only those on official family business. 
Gotcha. Alright, I'm not going to do the breaking and entering just yet. I'm going to finish exploring, and then we'll talk to the guy who's been waiting for a Jedi. Seriously, guys. Start shooting them up. And Too bad there's nothing to farm from those guys, huh? Alright, let's clear out the top of this real quick. Yeah, nobody's wounded enough to worry about health. That's another path into the next pasture. Oh! More Mandalorians. Are these guys just gonna open up the fire? Yep. Okay. Let's open up with a shield, which I think that might be our last use of. Do that. Let's do that. Try to knock out some of the little hooks. Oop. And let's get you. Focus on the big dude. Let's get you. You can't do much of anything, so we'll go ahead and get you to double down that way for the moment. I'm just seriously running this way. This is what I How'd you like that? Hmm. Even though that was tired of it, it still worked out pretty well. And what do you have on you? An adrenaline amplifier. Okay, that could work. And what do you have on you? Six bucks. Okay. And what do you have on you? A repair kit and an ion grenade. Alright, and there's an equipment pack with a med pack. Did I already leave these remains? Ooh, a Mandalorian data plaid and stabilizer gauntlets. Alright. Show new items. Um, uh, hmm. Oh, double-bladed sword. Okay. Heavy blaster, blaster, carbine. Not really helpful. One to six, one to eight. Alright, so a little bit better. Grenades, grenades. I know what those all do. I don't know why you make me look at them every time. Heavy combat suit. Doesn't help anybody I got so far. Military suit. Doesn't help so far, I don't think. Strength amplifier increases strength plus two. That could be useful. Stabilizer gauntlets increases demolitions. Always nice. Melee shields are also nice. And adrenaline amplifier bumps up reflexes. Okay. And med packs and repair kits I'm used to, but you call it new, so. Alright. Jarg went missing in Sector B, then Reza saw someone moving to the south. Take a couple of troops to find out if they look suspicious, terminate. Uh, huh. Go all items. I thought I had more than one data pad. Ah, okay. It's just two of the same. Okay, so...
Jarg went out in something experimental. Went missing. And they're on orders to shoot on sight. Okay. What's in the metal case? A repair kit. Okay. What's in the footlocker? Mines. And 50 bucks. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I bet one of those guys was named Jarg. And this is the Crash Beaters. Alright, move back in the repair kits. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's probably the crashed one. Put them back. Yep. Okay. All solved. full health and you know what let's go ahead and save the game that actually I, I know there's burning through force points for little good on the other hand that's saving me a round trip to load the hangar and then load coming back and all right let's take care of these things first So this is the missing droid. Nothing to loot there. Nothing to loot there. A couple people are ready to level up. Ooh, I am ready to level up. All right. Let's get level five of Sentinel. Still want to sing uh, Judas Priest is the Sentinel. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and bump up demolitions. And computer use and repair. Okay. Powers. Uh, okay, so I dominate mine. Extra options appear. All right. So I got the mind powers, I got cure, I've got the force push and force whirlwind. Do I want to take throw lightsaber? It's nice, gives me range, but I'm and guaranteed damage. Restricted by armor, that means that I can no longer wear armor. I'm not sure I want to go down that road yet. Uh, yeah, drain life is dark side, shock is dark side, fear is dark side, slow is dark side, wound is dark side, stun droid. All right, so I got stun and stun droid as options. Those are always good. Energy resistance is also good. Force resistance is good. Force valor is restricted by armor. So as much as I would like that, I'm not sure that's going to be the best one. Burst of speed is a nice idea, but that is restricted by armor. And force aura. Yeah, force aura is not going to give me enough of a bump to counteract getting rid of the armor so 
It's either going to be energy resistance or one of the stuns. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the stun person. And then I'll also start working the stun droid in parallel. Although I'm probably going to do the person one first. Alright. Accept. And nope, not Karth. Uh, was it this guy? Yeah, Candorus. You are now level 9. What skills shall we give you? You get the one point, so there we go. And feats. What tree were we working on with you? Yeah, let's go ahead and finish up the power blast. Alright. Hearth is good. Let's see. We got some of those gauntlets. He's got strength gauntlets, which really doesn't help. What do I have? I got Bridget's gloves. Alright, that's going to bump my dex by one. Why did I bump my dex by one? Uh, hmm. That's going to bump my strength by two. Dex is going to go to my two hit. Alright, let me go check stats real quick. Maybe that was why, because... Dex is governing my two hits. Strength is governing how much I hit by. If that Dex is with the plus one, that really gives me a nice two hit and defense. Because I get a plus four, assuming the armor allows it. And yeah, the armor allows it. That's why my AC is so high. So, much as I would like to bump up the strength... All right, well, let's see. That's going to be 13, 3 to 17, plus 13 to hit. What if we change that out to strength? Ah, okay. So that is going to bump up the damage to 4 to 18 and drop my 2 hit from 13 to 12. Hmm. The extra one damage isn't worth it if you're not hitting, so I will leave those there. Not really doing any strength based stuff. I mean, I guess I could give him a blade. He's got the skills. Sure. All right, uh, we did all that. Now we're going to talk to the droid. Master Jedi. I am C842, hmm. a personal assistant droid. Uh oh. Uh, hmm. As I said, I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Oh. Did she send <laughs> you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Um, yes. you're running? But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed mm. even. She, she tried to treat me as her dead husband. Um. It was not healthy for her. Uh. You don't want to know. She Probably is not. She rarely sees other people, and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best mm. that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. Uh... I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Oh. Living people, please. Will you destroy me? No. But why? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. How could I be so selfish? We'll go with that I one. I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. 
She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty. No. Oh, okay. He's back to full health. When did that happen? How did that happen? Never mind. I don't want to know. Off he goes. The weirdest little droid. Alright, looks like we are now in the Crystal Cave. Alright, we got about a half hour. That should be enough time to do this, right? <laughs> I've said the same thing before. You know what? Ominous Cave is ominous. Let's save. Okay. And let's try to go for the power attack. That's a big spot. I'm just saying. Do you have loot? I don't know what I'm going to loot from you, but... Okay, she love. What about force roll? Will that work? Sure don't seem to be helping. Alright. Are you the last one? You seem to be the last one. Nope. Alright. Yeah. Extermination patrol. There we go. Alright. Busting open the egg. Let's get the crystal formation. What you got? You have received a lightsaber crystal. Nice. Yeah, no, busting open the egg seems like the way to get dark side points. Alright, it won't let me go over there. We'll do all the ones around the circle and then the center. Oh, there are some remains in here. Uh oh. Okay, always nice. Then why, huh? Alright, nothing in that crystal. Oh, there's the eggs. There we go. A lightsaber crystal. And eggs and crystal. Okay. All right. No, no, those are the eggs. Yeah, killing the eggs. See, uh, I don't know what I'm get for that. 
That seems like a quick way to get dark side points, and I am not playing that game. You have acquired a lightsaber crystal. I think I want to find, really want to find a uh, bench now. Because I have acquired a few crystals. Matter of fact, I want to wait until I get Bastila back so that way I can upgrade her lightsaber too. And oh, you guys are already full health, you bums. <laughs> of course, they weren't the ones going toe to toe with the spiders either, so you know, I mean, what's to expect? Let's see, what do we got? We've explored about as far south as we can go, right? Yeah, and they won't let me on their grounds. The other group won't let me on their grounds. So let me fast travel back to the Ebon Hawk. And actually, let me change up the party a little bit. Let me remove that guy. I can't add Bastila yet. Let me add her. I think I'm as far as I can go with them. I don't think he's going to be impressed with anything I am about to do. Let me add him. I haven't had him in the party in a while. And yeah, I kind of figured he might need to get leveled up a little bit too. Alright, so, he is doing a ton of shooty shooty, so let's get his decks up one more, and yeah, let's get you security and repair and computer use, and oh, the other two skills are cross-class skills, the other ones are not available. Hmm... All right, so let's bump back security by one and bump up demolitions. All right, level them up again. This time we can double down on security. Yeah, that works. He's been taking the two weapon fighting. It doesn't look like he gets access to the third level of that, which is a shame. Uh, that's right, he came with that. He came with that. Blaster pistol. That could be useful. That probably comes automatically as a part of his class. Don't want toughness. Not looking for... Hmm. Battle logic upgrade. I think that's part of the... Droid stuff anyway. So let's go ahead and... Do the uh, weapons focus. Get another plus one to attack. All right. Because uh, he's got Bendex Blaster, two to seven, one to eight. That does have a higher ceiling, but that is a lower floor, which is always nice. And his other one is a heavy blaster, so it's a heavy blaster or a heavy blaster. Um, hmm. Got the level one shield, that's only got so many uses. He's got the stun. The best plating I can get him. Yeah. He's about as good as I can get him. And he's about as good as I can get him. For now, at least. Okay. That shield has one more use, and then I'm going to have to start grabbing some of those. Alright. I have not found the missing kid. Does he have anything new for me? Progressing is... Difficult, but worthwhile. Yeah. You got nothing new.
Good day to you. I'm afraid I oh. cannot speak to you at the moment. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. And what do you have to say to me? You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the ah. Order. For this, you deserve the highest praise. Oh. Okay. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to uh -huh. the Council. You've spoken to the and Council. They have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing oh. more than part of my training. Quatra wanted huh. me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You okay. back to the light when I left. Huh. Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. I do not know what the Council has in store for Maybe me. Maybe I got the wrong menu. I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Okay. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will... T okay. Interesting. It is relaxing to come outside and enjoy the fresh air once in a while. Mm -hmm. It relieves. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. You're the card shark, and all right, you are one of the parties in the dispute. But I am not technically a Jedi yet. So let me go do the quest turning before I talk to you. Alright, who am I going to talk to? Actually, before I do any of that, let me go here to the workbench. What can I do? I can upgrade attack and damage. Yes, please. And on hit stun. All right. Possibly stunning. All right. Now, I got everything I can do there. Any components? No. Not yet. And prototypes done. Missions is already done. And I got a little more of the alloy. Okay. So you have done well, you? my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Hmm. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side. As are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way. Yeah, that seems and like it a. Seems to have made its point. Juhani chance. has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining <laughs> the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full fledged member of our order. All right. Items received. What did I receive? Oh. We got a blue crystal. And a green crystal. 
and a yellow crystal. Okay. Oh, all that does is change the color. Um, I know that which crystal you use. Uh, I know there was a color code to this, and for the life of me, I can never remember. I wonder if it will tell me. Uh, guardian. Oh, okay. It's not going to tell me. Unless it was in the summary, but we're getting close to stop time. So. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Count. Right. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge? As chronicler of the Academy, you should ponder the history of Revan. It this facility is a training academy. Hmm. The archives here are restricted, restricted to, those to those who have attained the, the rank, rank of master. master. We must protect okay. over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal. But there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history Pithy. of Revan. Sounds it good. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. Alright, what am I supposed Revan's to learn Revan's tale this? shows us how even the greatest even of Jedi greatest can, can fall, fall to the dark side. You must always yeah. be on guard against the evil that dwells well, foreshadowing within you. for somebody who might Think come later and fall. This lesson. I will May the think force on this. be with you. Right, it is good gonna... to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is mm. time we dealt with the matter of the okay. dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. That this one in particular found, lies to the I east of this enclave. Cut. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Uh -oh. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one mm -hmm. to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Okay. What happened to we the Jedi who went? That is one of the things you must oh. investigate. We okay. fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? I've already asked about... Right, Bastila um, will be a great Jedi someday. Bastila okay. was there. Bastila her... But Bastila... The way ahead will be... Alright. I guess she's on my team whether I want her or not. Alright, let me go ahead and add Karth back. That seems to be going out pretty well. Keeping those two teamed up. Yep. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. <laughs> they must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we hmm. do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. I shall look into it. These two families have been settled okay. here for some years now. And causing me no end of trouble. Indeed. They have been settled here for some time, and feuding ever since. Um... We do not know how the original feud started, but they want nothing to do with each other. As you may have heard, Alan Matali believes that his son, Shen, has been kidnapped by Nurek Sandral. 
Curiously, Nurik's son Cassus has been missing for some time as well. I fear Nurik may suspect Alon in this. Is there anything else you wish to know? Alright, which families were they settled? Alright, I shall investigate this. If Shen this. Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that okay. we truly prove ourselves worthy gotcha. of the title Side quest. Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on. How bad could it be? Yeah, I kind of figured she was ready to level up now. Because it's been a little while. Alright, level up. Attributes. Uh, Alright, her dex is pretty high. I really... There we go. Hit points. That's what she needed. That's right. She is also a sentinel. Um, doesn't get much in the way of skill points, though. Kind of surprised about that. Alright. So, she gets one more power. Oh, no, because she's not at level 9. We're not doing any of the dark side stuff. We could do Disable Droid. Uh, that requires level 9. Level 12. Level 9. Yeah, we don't, have whole, we don't have a whole lot of options unless we want to start racking up some dark side powers. So, I guess we'll go with the updated version of Disable Droid. Alright, and let's go add in the usual. Alright, so she's been doing the double bladed or two weapon fighting, right? Yeah, because she doesn't have any of the dueling. Uh, that's going to go up automatically. Yeah. Let's max out two-weapon fighting. That's probably going to get us the best bang for the buck here. Powers. Alright, so Night Valor is now an option. The other stun is now an option. Horse Whirlwind is now an option. And it, the advanced throw lightsaber. This power allows the character to three targets. Okay. That could be nice, but I'm going to go ahead and double down on the stuns for the moment. All right. Uh, I must you congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanny and brought her back into the Order. And have given us all great hope for your future success. All right. May the Force be with you as you continue your training. I have nothing left to teach you, Padawan. Though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the Masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. Okay. Uh, I'll do one more loop through the council before getting ready to call it a night. But first, let me upgrade her lightsaber and get her Rubat crystal in there as well. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'd really rather mine to be, uh, Blue. 
but I also know that that means something different. Okay. Let's do one more quick round. Right. Let me go talk to Jahani, because I'm pretty sure she ends up one of your uh, crew at some point. And I really think that's... That should be about now. I do not know what the council has in store for me, but I will trust. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's not until the next little bit. Or whatever the final version is before you end. Alright, uh, let's see. Mr. Mali is gone. Okay. So. Uh, you now gain the Evan Hawk party. One of the holes. There's a workshop of tools to upgrade existing. Uh, it seemed. Davika sword, a swoop bike. <laughs> okay. Anders told you about the Great Wars. Seemed to be. Huh. Speak to him again. Oh, I haven't talked to the lady about her droid yet, so I gotta do that. Uh, perhaps you have not met their most powerful members. Okay. Get the runes. Alright, so we got the feud, the runes, and a couple of turn-ins. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Hang out over by the Evan Hawk real quick. Alright, that's out. Yeah, I'm gonna go run around the Evan Hawk, save there, and call it a night, because it looks like I got a few. Oh! Mm. Ah, let me do that quick quest turn in with the lady and her droid. Um. That way we got one less thing we got to worry about next week. I want to make sure that I've got everything turned in that I can turn in. Clear up that quest log a little bit, and then we can finish up the quests next week. Uh, let's see. How Is may I be of assistance, Master Jedi? Uh, no, um, nice but you are still a Jedi. How may I be of assistance? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here. A pleasure. Live on okay. one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian. Alright. Uh, well, hmm. as you can see, well, no, the ones you're most likely. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the. All right. So Farewell you then. Nothing the new. What about you, good sir? Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? Right. Good. Killed some of them on the good. Planes. Put them down like the animals they are. But now that you've killed uh, some of them, dude. they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. Thank All you, right. young Jedi. So I can't do that one yet until I find the leader. Alright. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. Well, it's just so great to have him back. <laughs> We're just gonna go right home right now and celebrate our um. lovely little droid. Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. Okay. That got... That got something. That got well and truly something. Alright, let me sell off some of the extraneous equipment. Let me see what you're selling. Alright. Not selling any of the med packs or repair kits. Yep, no. <laughs> Jedi robes. 
do I want? No, I'm not going to wear the Jedi robes. Uh, hmm. See, the problem is I got three-ish more minions to pick up. And I don't know what they're going to take. Like that light battle armor is definitely going to be better. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll hang on to those. Uh, I thought what's her name had the double bladed saber in there. I'll hang on to those crystals for a moment. I can definitely. Oh yeah, you know what? Okay, no, no, no. I am definitely gonna sell the mine because I do not use the mines. I I know, I know. I probably should. Okay. We'll just uh, let that be it for now. So I got the Mandalorian leader left. I gotta look into the family situation. Let me run back on board here. And let's go through everybody's equipment real quick. Oh, she doesn't have anything. Okay, so that's going to be 4 to 22 with an 11 to attack. 3 to 17 with a 7. No, 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 no. Definitely the double blade saber. Okay. Interesting. Energy shield, and we'll go ahead and get you a Mandalorian melee shield. Alright. So instead of the clothing, let's at least bump you up to a Jedi robe. Can't wear anything else anyway. That's better than nothing. Gonna bump your awareness. I'd really like to do better for you than that. You can't do the implants, but... Yeah, we'll get you the strength. Because that's going to at least bump your damage. It's not going to help the attack, but it'll definitely help your damage, which is always good. Alright, so you're equipped. Uh, this constitution dex. He can't wear it. He doesn't do those. Uh, okay. I think that takes care of just about everything for now. If I come in here, it's going to be Hey there, hello. what can I do? No problem. Just so happens I've got one here up and anything else you need? <laughs> okay. Um, I've been thinking brother. about Lena and what she said about Griff. You know, how he was always blaming other people for his problems. Oh, there might be growth. something to what she okay. said. No, of course not. Not really. <laughs> but what if... What if it was his idea to leave me behind? I'm not saying Griff would just abandon me, but maybe, maybe he did want to leave me behind. Just temporarily, you know? He might have done that if he planned on coming back later, but things don't usually work out for Griff the way he planned, you know? And that's when he'd get in trouble. He was always borrowing money he could never pay back. He might have been trying okay. to skip out on his debts when he left Harris. He would have to leave his little sister behind so it would look like he was coming back. Yeah! <laughs> Well, no, not exactly. Look, all I'm trying to say is that the more I think back, the more I realize I might be idolizing oh, my brother a bit. You are not seeing things. seeing all his faults. I still want to find him. I need to see him again. It's just that I'm not sure how I'll react when I do. Uh, yeah. Maybe. When the time comes, we'll you'll know. I don't, I don't want to judge him yet. Maybe Lena was lying. Or maybe... Maybe she wasn't. All I know is I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, 
I'd like to go talk to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine and see what he has to say about where my brother is now. All right. That went well. Let's see. What else can we... All right, so those are both as upgraded as they get. That's fully upgraded. I got nothing to upgrade. Okay, yeah, I got nothing to upgrade any of those with anyway. I'm missing the one component for that. And there we go. All the armors is upgraded as it gets. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. A real okay. warrior knows his own... There anything else you need? From what we saw from space, it looks like no, a farm no. world. But I might have... Do you have anything no, else? That's not the one I wanted. More stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Ooh. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. Through the cells and real... Okay, um... Yeah, this isn't a measuring contest. So I remember it well, story. orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. The doors and opened in front next? of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Nope. Your choice. Looks like we. I'm uh, here if you want something done right. Okay. We've had our conversation with him. Nothing going on in here. Nothing going on in here. Although, let's see. Can I put some of the switch to give? Uh, no, 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 no. Killing my inventory with those and those and those. Okay. Or maybe I can't do anything with the data pads until I finish the Mandalorian quest. 
That might be it. Alright, nobody's in here yet. Nope, I already did that room there. This is the main room, so... Yeah. Another programming spike. Anybody in here? Nope. And what about you, Big Z? Well, I haven't done much questing with you. I might need to fix that. say yet. How can I help? All right. Let's talk it was about less that of dream. a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Uh, hmm. I still yeah, let's start with Are I still don't understand why, we why we're sharing it. Or why we even received it in the first place. To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked, and for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. How did our fates I, become I linked? Don't know. I mean, Believe beyond me, plot. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Hey, hey. What's... What's Please, that supposed to mean? Forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. Mm -hmm. What would I you like to know? Question. All right, why? Perhaps because we designed to. Revenant Perhaps Malik. because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. I'm thinking the latter one. Uh, sure. They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. It may be simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to, or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Alright, what do you think they were no doing? Idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must okay. investigate this further. Alright, uh, do you think we'll With luck, more? we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Regardless of which it is, our fates are linked. The vision was doubtless meant for us both. Alright, uh... It seems to be everything. Wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Alright, so it looks like that's all the conversations with all the minions. We've upgraded everything we can upgrade. Done just about everything else we can do. I'm not going to exit yet. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and save there. There we go. That's the one. Forgot which hockey it was for a second there. All right. This is the part where I thank you for following along this fine evening. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube where I upload these replays for later viewing, 
I thank you for watching there as well. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up. If you want to know when I post more videos, please hit subscribe. It helps the channel out. And uh, if you want to watch live, I do Games Revisited at 6 p.m. Thursdays. That's 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. I want to say that's still minus 4 UTC. It might finally be minus 5 UTC again. Uh, the whole daylight saving time thing really makes a, a fun fun mess of everything. But um, if you do look up 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, that should get you whatever it is in your local time. I also do a couple other games throughout the week. On Fridays, I do World of Tanks. Tomorrow, it will be at 7 p.m. And starting next week, I'm bumping it back to 6 p.m. Also, on Tuesdays, I play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server with Rayest and Arcadius. Right now, we're in Season 0, the building season, so if you want to get in early and uh, be one of those people that I was there before it was cool, then uh, come join us along. Starting next week, I will also be beginning that at 6 p.m. And uh, with that, good night, have fun, enjoy. Enjoy.